This is National 5, it's Indices Homework, using the Pegasus Resource Pack. Right, so I'm going to do questions 7 and 8 here. Question 7, we're simplify, the ex simplify expressing your answer with positive indices. So, this is what we've got here. Right, so I'm going to be dividing. So I know that when I divide, I'm going to subtract the indices. That's the way I'm going to do that. So, what I could do is go straight for x to the power of 2, and if I look over here, I'm dividing by x to the minus 3. So that's going to be, take away, and remember it's minus 3. So that's 2 minus minus 3. And what I've also got is y to the power of 4, it's there. And I'm going to take away, because I'm dividing, okay, I'm going to take away 6. What I can do there is just gather this up. So 2 plus 3, remember the 2 minuses will make a plus. So that's going to be x to the power of 5. And that's going to be y to the power of minus 2. Remember, I've got to go with positive indices. So there's a negative one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that down to the denominator. And that there should sort out the final answer to the question. So I've got x to the power of 5 on the top. And y to the power of 2 on the bottom. Okay. And that's that question complete. So just remember this question here, you could see it in a different way. What it could say is it could be x to the power of 2, y to the power of 4, all divided by x to the minus 3, and y to the 6. So you can see it from that point of view, and maybe it's easier seeing it this way because that's uh, more normal for you to see. And that's how we would work it through, just working it from there. So that's question 7 complete. Right, question 8, what we have to simplify is k to the power of 8 times a bracket k squared again to the power of minus 3. So if I've got a power to the power, remember this is the only time that we really multiply those uh, the, the indices together. So I've got k to the power of 8 that I'm not touching yet, and what I'll do is I'll just multiply these out. So that would be k to the power of minus 6. So that's just the 2 times the minus 3 gives me the minus 6. Now remember the other rule that we've got when we multiply. What we're going to do is we're going to add the indices together. So that's going to be k to the power of 8 plus the minus 6. So that's just the same as k to the power of 8 minus 6, which gives me k to the power of 2, which is just k squared. Okay, what, what we've got for marking here, we've got two marks, and uh, what we'll get here, we'll go for two marks for evaluating this part out here, and the final mark for uh, making sure that we've got positive indices. We've got one mark for evaluating out the uh, k squared to the power of minus 3, so that'll give us k to the minus 6, and one final mark for the answer there. So that there is going to be out of four marks for questions seven and eight, and in total, that's going to be a total of 16 marks so far for the homework.